Hello everyone, this is David from Tutor Matching Service, and today I'm going to go over the booking process on DMS. So as you can see on the Tutor Matching Service homepage, you see this search bar. This search bar will be your best friend when trying to book a session because it will basically help you find the most optimal tutor for your experience. So as you can see, if we click on this search bar, we can type in various different things. So for example, if I wanted to type a specific course code, I could type a course code and it'll populate right here and it'll show you all the different ones that's close to it. So if I was trying to get tutored in Mac 1147, I would click Mac 1147 and it would show me all the tutors that tutor in that, in that course code. However, you can go a little bit more general. Let's say you only want to get find a tutor in statistics, but you don't have a specific course that you need to be tutored in. Well, that's totally fine. If we type in statistics, as you can see, it comes up with all the different types of statistic courses that you can take, including AP stats, statistical methods, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, what happens if you just kind of want to find a tutor that goes to your school? Let's say you go to Bradley University and you want to find someone who goes there as well. Well, simply type in Bradley and you can see all the different schools that are, that are similar to Bradley would come up, such as Bradley University. Now, finally, let's say you know the exact tutor that you want to get tutored in. Well, you can search that person's name as well. So let's say we wanted to get tutored in Eric Anza. Well, as you can see, it comes up right here. So then if we click that, we can see that it brings us to this page. Now on the left, this is your filters bar. So the filters bar is essentially how you're going to find the most precise search for a tutor. So as you can see, it allows you to filter by school, subject, course code, the price that you're willing to pay for a tutor from zero to $100, the zip code that maybe you want to get tutored in person, the tutor's name, as well as their availability and even their spoken languages. So let's say you wanted to get tutored in someone who speaks Spanish because you're only fluent in Spanish. Well, that's totally fine. You can just go here and it has all the different languages. Now, if we scroll up, we see our search result. So in this case, we search for Eric Odza and we see Eric Odza, the school he goes to, a picture of him, his availability, and then the badges that he earned. So in this case, he has the online tutoring essentials badge and the tutor essentials badge. So basically, badges help you kind of understand how qualified a tutor is. And as you can see, only two populate here. However, if you go into their account and they have more than two, the remaining badges will be listed. In addition, on the right hand side, we have the price that the tutor's trying to charge for their tutoring sessions. In this case, Eric is free, as well as their overall reviews and their average response time, which is how long it's taking them to respond to a message. Now, if you're pretty sure that you're kind of interested in this, this tutor, then you can hit the View Tutor button. Once we go to this page, as you can see, it kind of gives us similar information. We have the name, the badges, the school, but now we have a Book Now button and a Message Tutor to Schedule Session button. So the Book Now button takes you straight to the booking process and it allows you to book a session. However, if you're not comfortable with booking yet and you kind of want to talk to the tutor first, that's no problem at all. If you click the Message Tutor to Schedule Session button, then that will allow you to communicate with the tutor and ask them some questions on, you know, what they know and maybe you could give them, you know, an example of, you know, what you kind of want to get tutored in and see what they say. Now, if you scroll down, you can see some information about this tutor. So the subjects and courses that Eric teaches, college algebra, pre-calculus, calculus one, etc. The academic credentials and tutoring experience kind of goes over his bio, who he is, you know, what type of subjects he teaches, as well as his spoken languages and his calendar. So on this calendar, you see available and unavailable. So the available green boxes are the days that he's willing to tutor this week. The unavailable are the days he's not willing to tutor. Then if you scroll down even more, you can see the reviews of the tutor, get to know how other tutees felt when they had him as a tutor, and just get an overall understanding of who he is and how he tutors. So then once we scroll up to the top, let's say we're ready to book, we're going to hit the book now button. Once we're here, it'll take us to this page where you'll see your time zone, which type of session you want to book today, in person or online, as well as this, which shows you which color corresponds to each type of session. So as you can see, blue is for online sessions, orange is for the in-person sessions, green is online or in-person, either one, and then purple would be like a group session, which is like multiple two T's in one session. So if we go to next week, we can see some availability that Eric has on his calendar. 
So since we're selecting the online right now, it's highlighting the blue, but it's not highlighting the orange. If we switch, it would then highlight the orange, but notice how both highlight the green because green is both online and in person. So let's say we wanted to book a session for online at around Tuesday from 10 to 11. Well, when you click this first line, it'll automatically fill in for one hour, 10 to 11. However, if you did want more, you can add more as much as you want. So as you can see there, they're now combined and now I can adjust it to however many hours I want. But for now, we're gonna say we're gonna do one hour. Then once that loads and you're ready to go, you have two different options. You can go to checkout and book or you can skip and send the message. So in this case, we're gonna go to checkout and book because we're ready to book the session. However, if we were still kind of unsure and we just wanted to kind of go ahead and message him again, we could totally do that. But for now, we're gonna go to checkout and book. So this is the booking end process. Basically, this is the final process before you confirm your booking. So as you can see, this is the calendar. It shows you, okay, we're gonna go from 10 to 12, 15. We have Eric, you know, session one, what day the session's at, stuff like that. It's got the payment of how much you're paying. And if you really are kind of like, mm, let's propose a different time, you could always click this and send a message and say, hey, can I do it at this time instead? And that's totally fine. Then as we scroll down, it's going to ask you which subject you want to get tutored in. So for example, let's just say we're going to get tutored in Calc 1. Scroll down, we pick the um, optimal course code. So we'll pick Mac 2311. And then we want to write, okay, what would we like to work on with Eric? So this message can kind of help the tutor better understand, you know, what your needs are and what, you know, would help you the most when you enter the tutoring session. Because this way, if you can give them kind of like the most accurate message of what you want to work on, it'll help you get the most out of whatever you're buying because, you know, you only get however much time you're buying. So you want to get the most out of each session. So for example, I'm going to write, I would like to study some of my integral problems from the last exam, right? So now he knows, okay, he wants to go over integrals. So let me, you know, refresh my memory on all that stuff. So I'll be the best tutor for when your session starts. Finally, this is your payment method. So this one is a free payment. So there's no payment required. However, if it was a paid session, then it would give you the option to either put your voucher code in or a credit card information, whichever one you would prefer. Now, once we're all ready to go, we're going to click this book tutor button, which you can click here or it's up here as well. Either one, whichever one works best for you. And you're going to click book tutor. And as you can see, now the booking has been confirmed. So it says you can check your email for confirmation, which you can go ahead and you'll get a confirmation email when you're ready. And this is your receipt saying that your booking is confirmed. It'll list the date and the time that you're going to, to do the booking as well as the email and the phone number of the tutor. So that is how you book a session on Tutor Matching Service. If you have any questions or concerns, or if you are you know, still unsure of something, please feel free to always email us at help at tutormatchingservice.com, and we'll be more than happy to help you out. So with that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, 